Kung Fu is absolutely crazy about strawberry jam. Oh. At only four months old, he's the youngest resident in the sanctuary. The young bear was just skin and bones when he was yeah. seized from illegal animal traders. <laughs> Fatong Yang's been fattening him up since he arrived. Besides Kung Fu, Australian NGO Free the Bears has managed to rescue three other cubs so far this year. Normally, young bears spend the first three years of their lives with their mothers, but she's usually killed and the cubs are kept under awful conditions. Kung Fu's brother died in captivity. He probably starved to death. The animals have a really terrible time. This fully grown Asian black bear, also called moon bear, is almost two meters high standing and weighs in at 150 kilograms. In Tat Kuang Si Sanctuary, they try to keep the animals under the most natural conditions possible. The bear refuge lies in the north of Laos, right next to a well-known waterfall. The nearby tourist attraction means a lot of visitors take advantage of the chance to also see the bears. Hardly any of the visitors can imagine the ordeal these poor animals have been through. Like Kobe, who lost his right front leg after he was trapped by poachers in a snare. He was destined for an illegal bear farm. Luke Nicholson explains to the visitors that bear bile is used in Chinese medicine. And it commands a high price. In a bear bile farm, bears are housed in tiny cages, no bigger than the bears themselves. And they can live up to 20 years inside those cages where bear bile is extracted through surgical means from the bear using a syringe. Imagine going through that torment of frequency of every couple of days and you're living on a subsistence of very, very meager rations of food. These pictures show a bear bile farm near the Lao capital Vientiane. The bear's face is a portrait of pain. Nobody knows how many farms like this are in Laos. It's actually illegal in Laos to treat animals like this. But as all too often in Southeast Asia, enforcement and punishment are totally inadequate. Luke Nicholson says the greatest threat to animals is human poverty. You can find products from the illegal wildlife trade in almost every local market here. They're popular with Chinese tourists. Bear teeth here. These are being sold for 50 US dollars each. We have a, a bear claw here. Right next to them, Lao whiskey with animal parts preserved in them, including bits of bear. Just recently we've had the seizure on the Lao-Vietnamese border of a, a, a number of bear paws which were destined for China to become bear paw soup, which is considered a delicacy and a luxury in China and demands very high prices. The battle to protect animals and species can't be won without environmental awareness. So Tat Quang Si Bear Sanctuary regularly invites school classes. A lot of the kids don't even know that Ursus tibetanus is resident in their forest and also a threatened species. More education is needed, especially in rural environments, because hunting wild animals is a way of life there. The kids have to learn that the bears are so endangered they might well disappear altogether from Laos very soon. Time for a snack. The food is hidden in balls, so the bears can train their natural foraging instinct. The conservationists are supported by foreign donors. 38 Asian moon bears now live in the open here. 
far too many. The reserve was only designed to take 10 of them. But allowing these colossal creatures back into the wild would be too dangerous. There's a number of reasons why these bears can't return to the wild. Some have physical trauma, uh, some have psychological trauma, and some have been hand raised uh, from little cubs when they've been rescued. The bears that have been hand raised if, have imprinted on humans. If we were to release them back to the wild, they'd go directly to a village looking for food, and that's where we get human-bear conflict, and that's when people and bears die. Free the Bears is building a much larger refuge about an hour's drive from the historic city of Luang Prabang. It'll use 26 hectares of farmland. It's an ambitious and expensive project, which will offer a home to 150 bears. The refuge is urgently needed. The government of Laos is finally making an effort to close down the cruel and illegal bear bile farms. The rescued bears will need a new home. This, this house here, yeah. I think, will go in the back over here and be dug into the hill. Tourism is an integral component of this development. We will be dependent, I guess, on the tourism uh, dollar to be able to drive this project for the duration that we're looking at. It's a massive undertaking. It's going to cost a lot to build, and of course, it's going to cost a lot to operate. Today, some monks have come from the nearby village of Tat Quang Si. They bless the conservationists' work with a Buddhist ritual. The ceremony is supposed to bring luck to the workers there and fend off evil spirits. Free the Bears certainly needs every bit of support it can get so that Kung Fu and his friends can enjoy a brighter future in Laos.